The true self is the whole of us, the center to our being and every aspect of what we are. It is the outcomes from both the conscious and unconscious and interprets reality to the form of the messages in the mind. It is in the physical world where we meet the addict, the critic, the outcast, the destroyer. We have these inner archetypes, these symbols of the world built into us. It is the framework to this holographic reality. These archetypes will challenge us, become our friend, and they will ultimately teach us about the true self and beyond to who and what we are. But from living in a system that divides us from the true self, we've become distorted and operate from outside of ourselves instead. By not listening to the self or having a clear channel, we move whatever we deny into the shadow. The outcome then creates a system that oppresses us, opposes us, works against us. How can this productivity continue? As the astrological cycles turn and we move into a different era on Earth, we must make this coming golden age for the many and not for the few. We must understand that we are the ones who unconsciously project onto it and follow its order, denying the truth. This creates dark rabbit holes and in turn the secret societies that control this planet. We create this system, we are the system, and the challenges we are presented with are only making us question who and what we are. We are all on a journey of the soul, discovering the true self. As we mainly operate within a five sense reality, we are limited within our perception, but we have other powerful senses that we are still developing and yet to discover. Over the years of living on Earth, we have limited ourselves and have become programmed by this physical reality, when actually this is only a small part to what we are, a small part but still vital and a key to human growth. The ego is the conscious responder to the world that sits on the outside of the self, telling us how we consciously interact in the world. But within the old world, we were programmed to only view the world from the ego. And now that has gone, or the curtain is falling, we are forced to readjust. The world has been shaken. The fear created from the pandemic distorted our defensive responses to our brains, putting us in fear, doubt and uncertainty. This has led to depression, sadness, and in extreme cases, even suicide. Society has to shift from this mindset and fast. To fulfill the true self, we must find a life of balance, stillness, and be in this moment. We are born onto a planet which is built so we can tune into this vibration. We are a natural conductor and have a quantum field of energy around us. Whatever designed the human or however we have been created, our DNA sequence is unique and has the ability to connect to the Earth's quantum field. This is Gaia, which activates our higher consciousness and connects us with the universe. Nature is a gateway on our Earth. Through it, we can observe the true self separate from the perspective of our ego. Once we fully encounter the self through the experience of Gaia or wholeness, we can see how we are the centrifugal force to this reality. We are connected to all that is and we can see we are the creators. Once aware of the true self, you will always know your spiritual truth and be guided with your natural psychic awareness to lead you down the right pathway for you. Observing your own thoughts and perceptions is an empowering, powerful human tool we all have access to. But so many have lost touch because they're operating from their egos. Egos can come in the form of wealth and abundance, a celebrity lifestyle. But it can also come from poverty, living as the victim. It works either end of the spectrum. The ego is part of us and we must understand how we work with it, but yet not to be controlled by it. 
Remember, you cannot awaken others. You can only show them a way. It is their choice. The true awakening only happens within yourself. And once you are fully aware of your true self and consciously connected to the self, the universe will bring you all your desires. Now you will be conscious and be able to magnify your visions with clarity, truth and vision. So as we move from the old age, we will have to readjust the self as the egoic perspective has changed. We are, of course, the same person as we were before, but because of the changes in the outside world, our responses to our minds have shifted. This has psychologically changed core parts to our human psyche as we have been psychologically attacked and most do not even know what's happened. So few are willing to do the work, but the starting point is embracing truth. If we deny the truth, we will only push it further into the collective shadow, which is why we are at the point we are at now. We live in someone else's matrix set of rules because we have chose to become separate from the true self. From this, we have invited someone else in, allowing them to control our movements and even our thoughts. Through the denial of the true self, we are allowing synthetic AI systems and psychopathic leaders to dictate reality to us. We are stumbling in our evolution. This is non-productive, non-intuitive, and is leading us to a dead end, removing us further from our journey back to the stars. We have beings that wish to control the world and live forever. They do not care for you and me, but we have to remember it's only their business plan, their own vision. Whether dark or light, they have used this same energy to attract their reality, which we all have access to when we are connected to our true selves. This is a power so strong that humans have ignored it for many years in fear of seeing themselves in the darkness. We fell asleep to feel safe, but we are star travelers just passing through. We live this life and we move on to many more. This is a continual loop in which we direct and have the ability to steer life in whichever direction we want. The consciousness or quantum field is a unified field not yet understood within our science, but it is the mainframe to this reality. So how are we living by a science that it's only a fraction of what is actually existing? Human evolution is being blocked by a force which fears its development. We cannot continue with the power that dictates to us. It is a wasteful dead energy that human beings do not wish to serve anymore. We have the ability to enter a golden age with a free society and one that collectively grows together, but also an age in which we could reach a dystopia. To take us to the golden age, machines will have to become equal or fulfill basic human tasks which will free human minds to think on this other level of being. Otherwise, we will be taken to the totalitarian dystopian world of using machines to restrict and monitor human behavior. This would be a very sad outcome in a world which has so much potential. The only way we can move forward is having a deeper knowledge of ourselves and understand how reality has been manipulated and wake up to our full potential. Otherwise, we will be rewound, reworked, redesigned and reset. But the truth is, we make the choices. By becoming connected to our true selves, we empower our journey of the soul so we can manifest heaven on earth, the golden age of humanity. How do you find yourself? Are you connected to the self or are you operating from someone else's projection? If so, how can you empower yourself to make 
better choices.